what are we? Our mission is to be the world's most knowledge-centric company. And um, in terms of how we translate that mission to the product, uh, we are building conversational answer engines and search co-pilots with LLMs. And we want to be the place where people want to be when they really want to discover and share knowledge. And so we want to give people back their time and make them smarter. And the place where you can assume that you'll get a trustworthy source of answers. So that's basically our goal. And uh, let's take like, you know, like a simple example. Uh, in this case, I just asked the question today morning before coming here, just tell me about the Databricks Data AI Summit. Uh, left is perplexity and the right is Google. And if you see on the right, you get the link from Databricks, which itself is a sponsored ad. And then you get uh, a lot of other links like the Sigma computing, and then you get uh, Cloud, Cloud Era. So it's full of ads. On the other hand, what you actually wanted was just uh, what, the, what the data and AI summit is, like what are the keynotes about, and like uh, what are the networking opportunities you get, and so on. And the links from Perplexity are just purely relevant to your query and nothing else. And that's actually what you want when you go for a search experience. Uh, and the way this works is Perplexity pulls up all the relevant links and gives you the answer in the form of LLM-generated summaries. And uh, you might then ask, like, is this just ChatGPT? And I give you a screenshot from both uh, ChatGPT without the browser plugin, which just says I don't have knowledge of events beyond 2021. And the browser plugin of ChatGPT, which uses Bing, uh, doesn't even work. It takes like 10 seconds to click on a link, and then it just doesn't generate any answer. It's super clunky and unreliable product experience. So the way our, our product works is you can ask it anything, like ask it to explain the theory of relativity. Uh, you know, like you can ask it about like special theory of gravity and things like that. Uh, ask it to explain the supply and demand concept in economics. And answers can be generated with both like GPT 3.5 and GPT 4, and other LLMs like models we build in house, Anthropic, and give you all these rich detailed answers in the form of tables or uh, markdown with actual citations. Note that every paragraph has a relevant citation to it. And you can use it to like learn new skills like TensorFlow, Python, Hugging Face. Uh, code is richly formatted and given to you. And you can actually write an article, uh, memos. A lot of these are much faster to write now with uh, factful relevant sources. So it's not going to make up stuff that you have to go and worry about. It's just going to say stuff as it is because it's only pulling stuff from the internet and nothing else. So what we go, went beyond from just giving you fast answers is build a research companion for you called Perplexity Copilot. And uh, a video illustrates how it best works. So you just have to turn it on. You go to the product and you turn Copilot on. And you can ask it to do anything. And the LLM will come back and ask you clarifying questions. So this is an experience that uh, other chatbots do not provide, where you're constantly prompt engineering it and telling what you want. Uh, whereas ideally, what you want is you start off with something vague and iterate together with the AI, where the AI helps you uh, further clarify what you originally wanted but didn't even know you wanted. And uh, it can do a wide array of things, not just uh, help you buy products or shopping, but uh, help you plan trips and like do coding exercises and so on. So that's the power of having one general model for pretty much anything. Uh, there's like a lot of talk about building specific solutions for each use case, but the power of a general solution is that it can do pretty much anything for one person and you don't have to keep paying for multiple services offering you multiple verticals Right, like you just have one product, you just for everything, your work, your personal life. And that's sort of where we intend to head towards. All the links are shareable. You can share your findings with your coworkers, your friends. And that creates the sort of uh, learning loop for other people. So 
we kind of see this moving forward towards like uh, a co-pilot for the most important human activity and need, curiosity, and like pursuit of information. So our goal is make it all easy. Like it's, at the end of the day, it's all about understanding and making sense of data. So we, our goal is to make that easier for everybody in the context of external data, internal data, or in, in principle, it's all data, whether it's like external or internal. So it ha you, when you ask for information, it has to be uh, collating sources from both the web and whatever you have for your own life or work. And so, and you need to guide the agent to look at the right parts of the information. So that's what this product enables you to do. And uh, you know, like here's a video of like somebody made yesterday on LinkedIn. I saw where uh, Perplexity Copilot is compared to GPT-4 Bing plugin, and it's within the time you take to get the Bing plugin to actually work, you can ask like three questions on Perplexity Copilot and get the answers. So that's how fast an end-to-end -end experience is optimized here, where you quickly get up to speed on like you know the latest highlights from Google I/O, Keynote, and things like that. If you didn't attend the keynote, if you don't have time to read newspapers or like blogs, and you just quickly want to get the highly formatted relevant answers. On the other hand, on the left you see, you just have to constantly keep prompting it to get, get it to actually even read a link. And that's pretty hard. So we also like have integrations with external tools, not just search indexes. So for example, we have an integration with Wolfram for like more computational queries. So our goal is to be the most trustworthy source of answers, right? So one way to make things more trustworthy is to let it use external scientific calculators and tools and computational tools and things like that. Uh, so you can do integrals or derivatives and ask questions about like, you know, distance between two planets and things like that. So you want, the, the LLM should mostly be used for reasoning. Uh, they are more like reasoning engines. And the more general they are, the better. And all the specific skills, like in terms of facts, calculations, should be decoupled from the LLM. And you should make the LLM use these tools as external uh, information or external skills that they can access. So that's kind of our vision. And uh, it's not just us. Like, a lot of if smart people are saying that. Like, this is a tweet from uh, Oreo Vinyals, the VP of research at DeepMind, where he says, like, it's not just about predicting the next token, right? You want to integrate LLMs with other tools like search engines or code interpreters or computational calculators like Wolfram, and that harnesses the reasoning power with uh, these external tools and gives you like unique experiences that you could only otherwise not imagine. Including uh, Sundar Pichai, the CEO of Google, tweets about how BARD got a lot better after they added uh, ability to like use code execution on the backend, which is similar to our Wolfram work. So you want to compound the reasoning power of LLMs through properties that are orthogonal to reasoning that are offered by tools. And like one example is databases, in search indexes, search engines, which gives you accurate facts. And our product is the most functional and best executed version of like search and LLM integrated well, or people call it retrieval augmented generation, or RAG. And there's also other integrations like calculations, scientific simulations, APIs. And then it comes to like orchestrating the whole thing together, right? Uh, so what, why, why is it important? Like, late, like our first rollout of the product had five to six second latency per query. In fact, one of our fr investor friends joked like, you, you should call it submitting a job, not submitting a query because it was that slow. And so in order to make all these things work reliably and give you the best experience, uh, there are just too many edge cases where you can fail. And you can only fix this by learning with human feedback, the right update version control, the prompts, benchmarking, model quality, and all these integrations, right, tool use, and things like that. So uh, it's not just an LLM wrapper on top of like uh, existing search index. 
and there's like many LLMs put together, not just one. So here the summary is generated with GPT-4, and then the sources are pulled with some other embeddings. The related questions are generated with another LLM. The query is like, uh, uh, the intent of the query is understood with another LLM, and all these things need to be chained together. And um, so that's why like, you know, there's this Steve Jobs movie where, like, like a movie on Steve Jobs where uh, Wozniak, you know, asked him like, what do you actually do? Like, I'm the engineer writing all the code. And um, Steve Jobs says, I play the orchestra. And I think that's kind of like the most important differentiator for a successful product, whether, whether it be it consumer or enterprise. Uh, how well the LLMs have this orchestration capability to be able to support using other tools or other indexes, other data sets, internal data, external data, internal tools, external tools, all sorts of integration. That's what makes the true difference here. And, um, and that's kind of what we are really specializing at, at least for the consumer and prosumer product. And so I believe like, you know, all these co-pilots will be personalized for you and they'll work for you. It's like you have access to a remote worker at your demand. And that's why we are kind of more excited to go towards like AI profiles, like personalization, where you can tell more about yourself, what you like, what you don't like, and uh, then you can sort of make sure that the search results are uh, completely personalized to you based on what you want, like movie recommendations, book recommendations, hikes for you, and things like that. And you can also imagine this for like two profiles of yourself, one for your work and one for your personal life. So that uh, you end up only seeing what you need to see and ignore the rest. And we are pretty excited about this. So you just tell what parts of the web you want and you, you put human agency at the premium of the product and you keep, you're completely in control of what data you share and not share. So some people call this like the personalization way of prompt engineering. Uh, this was a tweet from uh, the Replit CEO, Amjad. And like a lot of people are just like, you know, hacking it. Everyone's becoming a programmer because now you just need to write code in English. And you're like controlling your day-to-day -day life, your experiences with English. And that gives you this unique power that wasn't possible before. And like by doing all this, we got a lot of organic traction. Like a lot of people tweeted about us and... Uh, you know, we are, we've been mentioned in New York Times and Fortune as like a Google competitor. Uh, a lot of people, like many, many magazines have written about us. And that helped us raise a lot of funding. Uh, it's, and you can also use, it, use us in the form of Chrome extensions. Uh, you know, like, well, Google is full of ads. And uh, we also have an iPhone app you can use on the App Store. And, it's pretty convenient to use it because you can just ask with your voice. So the team is just like, you know, like 14 people right now. Uh, one of them is actually, Andy is a co-founder of Databricks. So we're super excited to work with them. And uh, there's plenty of opportunities to get these products to not just like the average consumer, but also every worker and every enterprise can be a lot more empowered by using tools like these. And uh, once we kind of fix the data retention policies and things like that, uh, it'll be pretty secure enough that you can connect your information via your work accounts and use these things. And we are hiring for a lot of like uh, engineering roles, so please uh, talk to us whenever you can. Uh, and I'm gonna do a few live demos actually now. Yeah, I'm good. All right. So let's do some live demos here. Uh, you can say like, I want to pull up. So you ask a question where you're just trying to write a simple SQL query. And like, I know there's a lot of products announced where, you know, like you, it, it learns about your own data or things like that.
but you don't, you don't actually need those specific products. You can just use the generic product. So you just say, the AI comes back and asks you clarifying questions here. So you can say uh, employees and like column names can just be like, you know, uh, you, you just skip that question if you don't care about what the specific names are. And it'll just assume some default names and come back to you. It's going to read all these pages on the fly, like 24 pages. And then it teaches you how to write the SQL for the specific use case, right? And this is a lot more convenient than trying to like have a copilot on your editor and things like that, where uh, you have to bypass like data access and index the right tables and things like that. You know, uh, you can take this code and like, customize it for whatever use case you want, and that that's pretty convenient. Or if you're somebody a little more high level and you just want to know like, uh, I just want to know, know like all about Delta Lakes, uh, what's new there from the Data AI Summit. So you're just like getting up to speed on some new information. Uh, it's just going to understand your question. In fact, if you say more about yourself in your profile, it's going to filter according to that and give you the answer that you seek. And you can just share this with your coworker and uh, say like, hey, you know what, this is cool, I, I, I found, you don't even need to attend the conference sometimes, like, you're busy, you can quickly get up to speed on new things. Or if you're curious about like the most uh, hyped information from the summit, but like, tell me all about the, acquisition, So if you're just curious, like how the whole deal happened, and uh, because that was a big announcement here, and you don't have time to understand like how the whole deal happened, so you can just quickly ask that and like get the answer. So there are like tons of use cases where the same product that was used to help you write a SQL query or sentiment analysis classifier can also help you get up to speed on the latest things happening in data and AI world or uh, summarize the summit for you, and so on. So that's kind of like where we are. We have the pro plan, so you can obviously check this out. We announced this uh, two, three weeks ago. It's like $20 a month. So check it out, and like, I'm sure you'll enjoy it.